but uh, the Mandela effect of the Star, the Star Trek that said, Luke, Luke, I'm not your... Hold on, let me get some decibels down. Luke, Luke. <laughs> oh, hold on. <clears throat> Luke, I'm not your father. Luke, I'm not your father. But I know him. <laughs> okay, I'm going crazy. <laughs> all right, well, let me know in comments what the hell that Star Trek thing was all about. What he really said. So let me get this stuff out here and stop yelling at you. Just put the freaking phone down so it don't fall because it's windy as shit out here. Uh, this is Real Life Situations, and uh, I'm not just trying to blow this out of proportion, but if this video ever gets recovered and say I pass away or something, um, I want this video to be published. Uh, just the last days of, of, uh, of me. And I might just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you think I'm exaggerating, but you never know what's going to happen in life, and this might be the time. I got some ideas. Yeah, I always say I have a lot of ideas. I never said any was good. Oh yeah, look at that love juice. Who cares how you make a fire? As long as it's a fire! You, you damn, damn eagle, eagle scouts. scouts! Good morning, folks. It's about 6 a.m. Um, yeah. See why I didn't start that fire last night? Um, this thing fell right off, so um, really, really freaking cold. Uh, just took my gloves off just for a little while, and they are they are tingling like pin needles. Uh, really, really rough. It says it's 19 degrees out there, and it feels like two. So no, it's not 19 degrees. It's two degrees. Okay. Um, I'm glad I got my uh, my snow boots there, my Croc snow boots, and I got a little surprise later. My sister had got me just for uh, this trip, so I can uh, maybe make it out alive. So she uh, she she got me something, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna use that today uh, because you know why? Let's let's go out here. Let's let's show you why. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <clears throat> we got snow. I mean, it's not nothing but an inch. That's what she said. <laughs> but, uh, it's snow, folks. I mean, you can get better, you can get worse by not having any at all. But we actually got a little snow. Um, it's not too unbearable for me to do some cooking and stuff maybe later on. Breakfast might be out to question. Um, I still have a lot to do. Uh, I just picked up all this trash that was in that trash can that blew over. There, the trash can there blew over, so I've actually put a couple rocks in there now, so I won't do that. But trash was all out here, so I had to pick that up. 
Uh, got the wash area here buttoned up. Uh, this is the most important thing here that I was worried about. I have two tarps. I have this tarp on top of another tarp. I was making sure that was still secure with all the rocks around it. That has a lot of electrical items under there uh, that I didn't want uh, messed up and that other power bank with the solar panels. Uh, I have the cast iron up under here so it didn't rust and, and get snow on it. Uh, I, I buttoned up the cooler and this is the raccoon thing and the, so the, and the wind so the the wind so the lid don't come off. Uh, I did find my snow shovel. Uh, I really don't need it, but I'm going to scrape it up to put some more snow inside of there after today uh, so I can have some free ice. Uh, we got that sweet mango sauce out here. I don't see how this didn't freeze up overnight. Like, what kind of mystery ingredients are in this secret, the secret Chinese secret, like Pearl Queen? Have you ever wondered why it's so hard to tell how old most Oriental women are? Our secret is called Pearl Cream. Pearl Cream. I don't know if you know about that, but that is an old ancient Chinese secret. I see a milk cart, uh, egg carton right there I need to get. Uh, but I buttoned up that. Everything worked out way better than I expected with all that wind last night. Uh, it just sucks that the... Uh, uh, the furnace things messed up so i'm gonna have to try to button that up tonight because it's gonna be really cold i think it's gonna get down to 14 tonight feel like zero but this weather here is kind of like this is probably beachfront weather for canadians to go go swimming uh with maybe spf 50. Yeah, I think this is uh, probably, they're laughing at me. Like, hey, this is just a Wednesday. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to get my fingers un unfroze. Yeah, I'm not going to say unthaw because unthaw is the most unused, most misused word in the English dictionary. Unthaw. To unthaw something, that means you just froze it. If you thaw it, if you thaw it, that means you're defrosting it like it's thawed but if you unthaw it that means you're freezing it but guess what it's misused so much in the dictionary check it out in the dictionary i think it says to freeze i think these people misuse it so much they said f it f it just just make it a word so okay all right well let me get in here No, I didn't. I didn't burn myself, but I probably loud. I was probably loud in your ear. I'm gonna have to cut that volume down.
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, I'm just going to hold this. I'm just going to hold this just like this. Oh, yes. Put my face in it. Mm. Look. Look. I'm not your father. I don't even think you said it like that. Star Trek people, please tell me what exactly he said, because I think people, it's like the Monopoly guy. The Monopoly guy never had the monocle thing, but I did it for the trolling because uh, the Monopoly money with the fake fake job. Uh, but I put the monocle on because most people think the Monopoly guy had that. I think at one time, I guess maybe McDonald's used it, and then everybody thought he had it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know why. Uh, but they call that the Mandela effect. Uh, but uh, the Mandela effect of the Star, the Star Trek that said, Luke, Luke, I'm not your... Hold on, let me get some decimals down. Luke, Luke. <laughs> oh, hold on. <clears throat> Luke, I'm not your father. Luke, I'm not your father. But I know him. <laughs> okay, I'm going crazy. <laughs> all right, well, let me know in comments what the hell that Star Trek thing is all about. What he really said. Guys, I'm back out here. Um, I've had a lot of situations already, uh, so I'm I'm woke, folks. I'm woke. Uh, but this right here, the pins kept coming out and the winds coming in. So you know, I was like, you know what? I'll open both ends up so it can just blow through. But the snow is blowing in, stuff getting uh, snow on everything, like from the the uh, the, the gale force force winds. Uh, the pins was coming up from the bottom. Uh, if I just said that, I'm just so cold. I'm going to repeat myself probably uh, to emphasize what's going on. I went ahead and pulled some bigger stakes out. This tent needs bigger stakes. Uh, not food stakes, but uh, uh, stakes to put them in the ground. I don't want to pull the ones up that's already in there. I went and got some bigger stakes from over there on that one since I put rocks on that. That one, I could pull the three stakes up that I had that were bigger. And I do have bigger ones. She said, oh, uh, but uh, these are the stakes that comes with. They're lightweight, aluminum. Full, aluminum. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty, pretty durable, but they just, they don't work as good as the bigger, bigger stakes that I have in the ground now. Uh, I got about eight more that I'm going to get once uh, the wind dies down a little bit. I'll pull, uh, well, I'll show you guys, I'll show you. You're worth it. Uh, there, those stakes there, you can get from Walmart for like a couple of dollars a piece, you can get extra ones. So I got plenty of extra ones. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change out the other ones. I did tighten up all these cords. This cord here was lower and it was pulling it down. So now it's squared. So it's a lot stronger. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna beef that up. Uh, and then this right here is, is when it snows. You're supposed to put snow on top of this so the wind doesn't come up under. So that's what this is for. Uh, but what I'm gonna put is rocks. I'm gonna put a couple rocks on there, a few rocks on each side from that rock wall there that Jay was uh, finding fossils on. And uh, right there, and then put them in this wagon right here. Uh, and take it from there. But let me put my gloves on, guys. My hands are, are about numb. I'm not even sure how I cut myself here. But, yeah, I'm going to need a, a mani and a pedicure when I get out of here. Yeah. I never had one before, but I'll, I'm going to uh, TMI. I'm probably soaking the tub and do it myself with a pumice stone. That's how I roll. It's cheaper. For like a couple bucks. Okay.
not much of it. But I have some left. this really really close it touched my eyeball not sure if it's still I got I still got both of them but if not I got another eyeball I can use but you see that it's there probably got a black eye or something I don't know I couldn't even see I'll look at it later it's watering up now probably gonna freeze shut okay I'll be the other side you know what the hell this looks like. All these camera angles, they don't just appear. You gotta move the freaking camera and I'm doing it for you. Don't worry about it, I'm just getting my blood circulating. But uh, it could be worse, folks. And I'm not gonna complain because this is actually what, not even what I wanted, but it's closer to what I wanted. It's white, it's not racist, it's snow. Um, so it's, uh, it's uh, and I wanna say this is a good tent. It just it needs to be uh, tightened up like that, and I didn't have it as tight. Uh, the bottoms, I do want to recommend one tigress. They need to have longer pegs for that. If you're going to be pegging, you want some long pegs. Uh, and the stove, uh, you already know about the stove. Uh, jack, or whatever the hell you call them things, a fucking pipe. Uh, I'm gonna, I already measured that. That's like barely the inside diameter the outside diameter i think is three inches don't worry folks she never said that um but i want to get a sturdier pipe for that and not mess with that roll up crap but uh everything else i mean that stove will work like right now that tent is, is about 10 15 degrees warmer than it is outside the the real feel okay uh so we'll know that the real feel is the wind temperature but the regular temperature when it says it, 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 it's 29, but it feels like negative 80. Well, negative 80 is out here, 29 is in there. But I could cook on that. Um, uh, it's just the carbon monoxide and the smoke in there. And if I had to today, I could open this up and cook on that stove inside of there, which might be a possibility. We'll see. Uh, I do have to keep nutrition in me so I can keep moving. Um, I brought enough to eat, as you can see. So I gotta stay alive. But let me um, get some stuff buttoned up here. I'm gonna sit and maybe warm up some coffee and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. But this is, uh, it's turning out to be a survival season. Um, I just just fell down and that wasn't even bad acting over there. And then I just bust my eyeball. I'm gonna make it out. I cut myself a few times. I'm gonna make this a survival season. I'm gonna have to break my leg to get out of here on stents and duct tape or twine or something. Uh, I will make this a survival season for you guys. Okay. Go post stop recording. Okay. It is very windy out here, so that is why I'm just yelling like I'm crazier than usual. Um, when you do stuff out here, you have to think ahead. Not of head. Well, Think ahead. No bake cheesecake. You're supposed to refrigerate it for an hour. So I anticipated cold weather. It is a freezer out here and a refrigerator inside of the tent. So when I make this, 
I think you got to refrigerate it for about about an hour or so. So I'll put it in the tent for an hour, uh, then get some stuff done. Cause I gotta I gotta uh, trudge the road to Happy Destiny to get to the uh, the SUV and uh, what else? I got some other stuff. I gotta get to the road to Happy Destiny. I don't know why I'm calling it that, but I'm getting to that path to go to the SUV. So I have something planned for that, uh, thinking ahead. Just like the the water. The water's, the water's already up to 80 degrees, and I know 80 degrees doesn't sound hot, but it started at about 10. So that water be another hour or two, that, that water would be hot to make some coffee or cocoa. Um, but I got this warming up in my pocket like a kangaroo pouch because when this gets too cold, it does not work. Or it doesn't work very well either. Uh, but uh, I need to heat some butter up. I tried, yeah, I tried. You know how I do it. I tried to warm it up. It is a little warm, uh, but I need to melt it. Uh, so let me get this stuff out here and stop yelling at you. Just put freaking phone down so it don't fall because it's windy as shit out here. Guys. Guys. I'm not that mad at the wind, folks. I'm just joking. Um, life's more... Just don't take life too seriously. Life's more about enjoying what's happening um, and being in the moment. So don't be pissed off in your life, okay? Stop making stupid-ass comments. <laughs> That's not for everybody. This is for the fucking idiots and trolls.
Okay, I was gonna spray this spoon with some extra virgin olive oil, but I think it's going to get loose somewhere, um, so it's not gonna be a virgin anymore. I was gonna spray it so it didn't stick, because I'm having problems. But I'm gonna do the best I can. My hands are warmer and it's trying to stick to my fingers. Okay, almost done, almost done, almost there. Don't stop, get it, get it. Uh, the sun, no matter what I do, the sun is just uh, not cooperating. It's not even a good picture on here. Oh, this wind sucks. I just spilled some, uh, uh, some milk all on the table and I returned to ice cream. But, uh, here we go. Feed it. before it freezes we'll have cheesecake popsicles and I know you saw something I had had some uh, watermelon Kool-Aid I want some watermelon cheesecake that's what I want watermelon cheesecake um, and I'm gonna mix it up with some other stuff we got watermelon Whew. smells like watermelon and we're gonna put some um, blueberries and cherries in here. This is gonna be fruity. Save some for later. Blueberries smell good. Huh? And you want to beat it for about two or three minutes, low speed, high speed, whatever. Do some track and field. If you do track and field, uh, you will know that I'm a freaking beater. I just spewed all over myself. Okay, let's pretend like that was five minutes of beating it. Okay. Um, what's it say now? Filling will be thick. Spoon over crust. Well, I'm not going to use a spoon. I'm going to pour it. Here we go. It's already thickened up because it's freezing. Look at that. Look at that frothiness. That ball's heavy as hell. With the tone rotator cuff, this is not easy. Okay. No waste, no waste. Lick the bowl. I'm gonna lick the bowl off camera. And I'm trying to keep it PG as I can. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for about an hour and I'll have breakfast. I'll drizzle a little more on the very top. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some salted caramel milk chocolate. Bring it down to my level, stoop to my level. Mm. 
Okay, tell me when. That's what the Parmesan people say at Olive Garden. Tell me when. Whoop, decoration. Ooh la la. Hey, the sun is only peeking out a little bit, but I'm gonna try in extremes at uh, about 22, well, 22 degrees feels like two out here. Uh, my Ethiopian Darth Vader solar uh, Starlink uh, looking kettle. It's a solar, it's a solar kettle uh, to heat up the liquids. I'm gonna put this in here and try to catch some sun and hopefully there's enough sun so this don't freeze in here and crack it, but it's still under Amazon warranty. So I feel comfortable doing this. Okay, the temperature is pretty low. There's the sun, right there, ball of fire, and there we go. Okay, hands are freezing, hands are freezing off. See that? It's not usually red like that. I gotta go. I wanna thank my sister for thinking into the future, for helping me um, survive out here. Um, I'll show you right now. Got some snow plows. For my, see if I can even show you any good. Clear the road off a little bit. Then when you clear the road off, you got some salt to shake on there. Pretty, uh, pretty dandy idea. So I thank you very much, Amber. I love you, and uh, I'm going to head to the SUV now. I, I wouldn't have made it without you. Come on. Let's stop playing now, folks. I'm going to take some of this stuff I don't need to the vehicle, so I don't have to do it all on Friday. So I need to get to the vehicle anyway. Uh, just check on it and put that away. So let's, uh, let's get to scooting and quit playing games.
okay i made it with about 40 different shots that i had to go back and forth so it took, took 10 minutes but it usually took about two uh but hey you guys are worth it about to pack this stuff up in here and then pack some stuff out right there in the uh jimmy on the spot and uh and then go back and start cooking a steak after i build the the oven so we'll uh figure it out it's like a crawfish oven because you know how crawfish or crawdads by the river or mud dot whatever the hell them things are called uh but the mud deals that go up by the river fucking volcano folks volcano how about that uh, how about that go post stop recording go post stop recording okay i got some ideas yeah, I always say I have a lot of ideas. I never said any was good. They're just ideas. Um, I got the water heated up here just for use for survival, maybe some something. Um, I am going to go get more rocks from the boundary here, uh, the wall. I'm going to build it up in the middle here so the wind does not blow the ashes all over the place and I can have a a condensed fire so what i'm going to do is build it up maybe maybe yay high then i can put this grate on top of there and then have a fire and cook on top of that for later uh but i do have other ideas uh for breakfast and i'll do that for uh, for lunch i still got a pork steak i can slap on there just to get some meat in me so so i can uh, keep on trucking and get the day uh going to, to have some, a good uh beef stew because i can put that pot on top of there as well and have a beef stew that i was wanting today uh to warm my innards up so let me uh get some of this crap done and uh be back with you go post stop recording what I need hey folks I was gonna get back and uh, do the fire pit but when this is ready um, you just got to do it oh um, this is at 200 and it's already boiled in there it's like 220 uh, so it's probably boiling in there I'm going to just go ahead uh, Next time, I'm, I'm using this uh, GoPro because my phone, the first five or 10 seconds being really, 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 really cold, the audio has been messed up uh, lately, I've noticed. But um, I, next time, I'm gonna pour this in here and make coffee. The next time, I'm just pouring coffee in here to heat up so I can have coffee uh, next time instead of having to try to warm that coffee up that I have already. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it, warm up, and then warm up by the fire. thing on here but it's not uh not working with me fingers ain't working right today a little numb Freaking cut a hole in this one. God dang it. Tie this up like this. Hopefully it doesn't have the granules all in there, but if so, I'm going to be eating granules. God damn it. like that yeah 
I got a lot. It gets, it does get kind of stressful, folks. Me trying to do all these videos and trying to cook and do all this for the videos. I mean, you guys are worth it. Uh, sometimes it just gets a little more hectic, uh, and uh, it's uh, today is is a little different because I got all this extra stuff to do with the cold weather and everything, but. I'm gonna live, okay? I'm gonna live. Let me get one more of those. I'm not gonna use the other one. This wind, if, if the wind wasn't here, I don't mind the cold at all. Just the freaking wind, you gotta keep on Worrying about stuff falling over and everything else. Just like this. Wind blowing, the, wind blowing this all around. Okay. I gotta do this without that going back in there. Okay. Put this back up. It's hot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God dang it. <laughs> Hold a metal cup. To put some boiling hot water in there is not bright. Hey, life's not over. I'm still living. I'm still breathing. I'm surviving. I'm, I'm going to make it out of here alive. Man, what did I do today? I, um, Barry is on the table. Uh, oh, my eyeball. Oh, God wow. dang it. Oh. I fell over okay. the rocks. I busted my head open. Okay. Burned my hand. Oh, yes. I cut my hand twice oh. and burnt my finger two times. My computer doesn't even read the fingerprint anymore uh, because uh, I burnt my my finger off. My, I melted my fingerprint. The murderers, the murderers do. Okay, let's drink. I'm gonna drink a little of this in peace and quiet and just listen to the wind blowing through my hair. And then I'm getting to the freaking fire, okay? Then we're gonna have a god dang steak. I'm hungry. I'm hangry. Hey Jay, um, I started doing this fire pit in the middle and then I'd take the rocks down because it was going to be in the middle of the fire pit. So I thought about what you said uh, yesterday when you was here. You said you wanted to make that fire pit bigger like you have over there at the glamp site. So this is what I did. And if you don't like it, then you can take those rocks and make the fire pit bigger than 
just doing what I just did. But this to me is like an oven. So you got the fire pit over there, and then you got this with the hole down in the middle, about a foot and a half. You can put that grate over there if you want. If it's windy like it is now, you could cook in that. Uh, and if it's not windy at all, you can cook in that. Or you can cook in both of them if it's not windy and use this as a little oven type deal. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully you like it. Um, if you don't, like I said, those rocks are there. You don't have to haul them all the way over there. You can make a bigger fire pit, so win-win. Um, I did that for Jay, guys, because Jay is a really good guy. He came out here a couple times, uh, talked for a long time off camera. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a good judge of character, I want to say, and he deserves a, he deserves something like this without knowing that somebody did it, you know. And I told him I do humility type stuff. I do stuff for people, and sometimes I do stuff for people without taking um any kind of uh, credit for it right here i'm going to take credit unless you don't like it <laughs> but jay thank you very much for allowing me to camp here i got another day to go but i'm just uh it's real windy right now so it's probably choppy in the in the audio but I'll, i will talk to you guys in a little bit i'm not going to uh cook a steak it took me two hours to do that so uh, i'm just going to eat my chinese food now and uh do the stew later on and i might be up for quite a while tonight because i'll probably be cooking well heating in that fire pit and just sitting by the fire pit all night because it's going to be 14 degrees tonight so that that'll be a little furnace for me outside so win-win okay i'll see you after i eat um you already you already saw the chinese food i'm just going to eat it cold and i'm going to heat it up uh, so i'll use that later on and we'll, we'll see how that works uh, later on if it doesn't work good at all then it's just going to be chopped up as I'm got to take that down. All right, see you later. Go post stop recording. And this this place is called Rocky Top, so this might just uh, actually kind of go good with uh, with being called Rocky Top. That's what I'm thinking. Go post stop recording. Couple, stop recording. Got like flying a flag in here. God dang Boy Scout. I'm uh got my shirt on. Uh, took my two thermals off and my jacket. It's actually 49 degrees inside this wigwam uh very comfortable um and i just realized i didn't even have my breakfast uh or lunch yet uh this is actually like a late lunch because i'm going to cook stew later but i'll be up late tonight so i'm going to eat that snoo I'm, stew I can't even talk around so hungry but uh i'm going to make a really big pot so i can eat that night at night and then tomorrow and maybe snack on something if I have any uh, food left over after the stew's gone. I don't think the stew's going to be gone, but if so, I got bratwurst or something like that, I think. Uh, I didn't have my cheesecake. It's still in there. I'm just going to have it for, for dessert. Okay? I'll just have it for dessert. Uh, it's still in the, I put it in the cooler, so it's, it's going to be good. So, let me eat. I just need to fill you in because I forgot on the way here. I forgot that didn't even do my cheesecake. So, I've been running around doing a lot of stuff in this wind i just i'm just if you know me i'm not a fan of rain so let's think positive at least it's not raining it's just windy the second thing i don't like is the wind uh, okay let me um put some chapstick up my nose because uh my i found my other one my my nose is uh getting a little bit of chapped and this is I got two different ones okay so one's for my nose and one's for my lip I'm not using the same thing this is for my lips
Hey, I apologize, guys. I fell asleep earlier. I was exhausted uh, from the night before being um, stressed out for the tornado and then uh, the snow yesterday when I had to do a lot of stuff for, uh, you know, getting everything buttoned down and make sure everything didn't mess up. But I woke up and I don't see these crystals. These, it's cold. I just checked. 15 degrees out feels like four, so it's four degrees. Uh, I'll do the stew. I'll do the stew tomorrow. Um, that'll be best when I can just, I'll do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'll just make a big old pot. If I need some, you know, something out for dinner and I don't have any food left, then I will go ahead and uh, make, just heat some like bratwurst up and have a sandwich or something by the fire. I got plenty of food, but uh, I apologize, guys. I'm gonna try to go back to bed. Uh, I think I'm gonna watch a movie first, like Two Day Air or something like that. It's called. Um, I will. Uh, I'll fill you in uh, tomorrow and uh, tell you what it's about. But I apologize for the ending of this video on this day. But real life situations, folks. Uh, want to look at the little i'm just going to say those are stars but this uh this sleeping bag here works out really good this two-person sleeping bag it's real comfy and i got my my thick uh i got two thermals on uh two thermal pants two thermal shirts i got this uh full face mask uh, i have uh this double lined hoodie and uh, i'm good to go so uh, oh, and my sleeping bag, uh, uh, battery powered sleeping bag. So, uh, the heated, battery heated sleeping bag, the heater thing. <sighs> too early, folks. Too, too late, I guess. It's about 1130 or almost midnight. So. All right. Well, I'll talk to you guys in the morning, uh, over and out.